Hello. Uh, time for something different. I bought a piano. I bought myself a piano for like Christmas, sort of. It wasn't a Christmas present. I wanted a piano anyway, and I bought myself one. Um, it is a Yamaha YDP 164, um, which Yamaha have a, have a lot of digital pianos. Um, it's quite hard to pick, but this is the cheapest one that has all of the features that make it feel like a grand piano, like uh, weighted, like properly weighted keys, and the sound is the best sound that they have. Um, and yeah, I didn't need all the fancy features and stuff. I just wanted a, a piano that sounded nice. Um, so I got one. Um, hopefully everything is recording properly. This is a very precarious setup. <laughs> I've had to move all my stuff that I normally use for recording games and bring them into here. Um, it's a bit of a complicated setup, so I'll see if I can improve it for next time. Um, Um, okay, and I've also got issues like my camera doesn't record for more than 12 minutes at a time, and sometimes it'll just stop anyway, so I'll have to keep checking, make sure it's recording. I might have to cut at weird abrupt parts if this, like, if the camera did so. <laughs> like, I didn't do it, the camera did it. Um, so yeah, what am I trying to do here? Basically, I'm learning some songs, learning some pieces, not songs because they're not sung, I guess. I'm going to say song a lot. I know some songs. Um, uh, the, basically, I got the piano over Christmas and I've been practicing some songs since then. Um, and I thought, you know, everybody just like learns the piece and then a few months later plays it and records it and puts it on YouTube or whatever. And it's like, well, you've, you've skipped out the process. The process is the interesting stuff. Um, however, I am going to skip out some of the process because I've already been learning some of these um, pieces like for, I guess, a month. Um, although I haven't, at a certain point, I stopped learning the new bits of the piece. Like I practiced just the bit that I already knew or had memorized um, because I was intending to record this and I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, I guess for a bit of extra context, um, I've been playing piano since I was a kid, but not like all the time, very off and on. Um, we had an upright piano with like the letters drawn on so that I knew what I was doing uh, when I was a kid. Um, and like we had a book of nursery rhymes that I would play and it would have the letters drawn in. So I just pressed the letters that corresponded with the music. It's great. Uh, that was a good way to learn. Uh, and I had a keyboard in my room for a lot of growing up, um, but um since i left home which was a while ago now um i haven't really had i've, I've had it i've got a midi keyboard um which for those who don't know is like it's like one of these it's much smaller like there's only like four octaves on it maybe maybe less um and uh, it doesn't play the sound itself. You have to plug it to a laptop and then the laptop does the sound. You have to have a sound library and then and all that kind of stuff. Or you can get like external MIDI um, synthesizers or whatever and then plug it into that and it would work. Um, but yeah, it just outputs MIDI. It doesn't output sound. Um, so I haven't really been practicing much because it's a bit of effort to set that up. And I always have to be on Windows whereas I spend a lot of time on Linux. So yeah, it's just an inconvenient. Um, yeah, what to say, um, yes, yeah, so I've had that, I've not really practiced with that very much, and so I bought this recently so I could play some more, um, I played guitar a fair bit, um, acoustic guitar, um, but obviously it's a very different thing to play, there are, there are common bits to it, obviously, because they're both musical instruments, uh, but you know, it's this whole own thing. And so I've been trying to get, you know, better at piano and just learn some pieces. Um, so, yeah, the intention is just to show some of my progress that I'm making. Uh, it's not going to sound good. Um, hopefully one day it sounds good, but it's not going to sound good now. 
the first bit might sound okay. It depends how I'm going to have a little bit of stage fright from just having the camera on me. Um, but um, we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll make mistakes, I'm sure. And that's sort of the point, just to be like, this is what it sounds like when you start. Um, however, like I'm saying, I am already a few weeks into this. And so I've been pressing the first bit already quite a bit. Um, but without further ado, um, everything is still recording, right? Okay, I'm gonna cut, because I have to do the camera shenanigans. I'm gonna cut and then we'll get to the first track. All right, um, this is like such a bad setup. I just like almost tripped over. I've got, a, I've got a cable running underneath my legs. It's great, so I just tripped over that. Almost pulled my laptop off the table. Laptop is recording the piano and this microphone. Um, and then the camera's just over there doing its own thing. It is stacked on top of a table and a chair. <laughs> like a little coffee table and a chair. Uh, that's my setup. I don't have a tripod, so that's just what I'm doing. Um, we're still good, right? So we're recording on both, we are. Um, first song. Uh, it's from a Studio Ghibli film. Um, by Joe... Hisaishi, however you say it, Hisaishi. You pronounce all the vowels in Japanese, right? Um, we share a name, we're both Joe. Perfect. Um, so this is Ashitaka and San from Princess Mononoke. I'm not much of a um, anime watcher, but I do like some of the Studio Ghibli films. Uh, and Princess Mononoke is one of the best ones. Uh, and it has some really nice music in it. So I decided to learn some of that. I've maybe attempted to learn this in the past. I don't really know. I, I can't remember at all. I've had to basically learn it from scratch. Uh, so I guess a little bit about this. I'm gonna keep checking my laptop in case anything's going wrong. Uh, a little bit about this. Uh, um, I've, I've learned the first I think it's, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like 16 bars. There's like two bars of introduction and then there's 16 bars. And it's sort of the same thing twice, eight bars, eight bars. Um, but the end is a little bit different. There are a couple of differences throughout, but fairly minor. Uh, it's just the ending of them is, is the most different. Um, and throughout the whole piece, there's, um, a very complicated bass line going on, which scares me. <laughs> uh, I've gotten quite okay at that bit. It's like one of those ones that like crosses two octaves of the piano and you have to like make sure you don't miss the whole way. Um, at the same time, the right hand is doing some complicated stuff. This is what the sheet music looks like uh, for reference, I guess. Here you go, an idea of what I'm playing. Uh, I'm not reading directly from the sheet music though. Uh, it's um, like I'm not, I'm not good at sight reading. Uh, I'm getting a little bit better at it, I think, but I'm very, very slow. Um, uh, so I've kind of learned from the sheet music and I've memorized what I'm supposed to do. Um, yeah, so there's a space line going through it, which is complicated, which means I'm like constantly having to focus on my left hand. In fact, that's the technique that I learned for this song was like, stop focusing on my right hand, just get my right hand doing the right motions. And then just look at my left hand almost all the time, except for some, there's some bits where I go like, and I sort of have to, it's a jump in both hands and it's kind of complicated. Um, and there's just some really nice sounds in this, some really nice chords. Um, starting with this C sharp major sixth chord, because it's a C sharp major. The sixth and that. I'm trying to also learn a bit of like chord terminology and so on, um, which you'd think I would have learned from playing lots of acoustic guitar, but I like I know a bit, but I'm trying to learn some of the more jazzy type chords. Anyway, I guess I'll give it a go and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably make mistakes. Let's just see. If I do, I might cut it out or I might... No, no, the point is to see the mistakes. So I'll just play it with the mistakes. And I might play it a couple of times or a few times. We'll see how it goes. Okay. 
calm. Sometimes the mistake is so bad I can't get back out of it. Basically, that's as much as I really know properly. Um, that was okay, a couple of mistakes, but whatever. Um, there's some really nice bits in there. I really like the bit, um, it's at the end of the first eight bars when the bass goes. Oh, so nice. And the way that synchronizes with the right hand at the same time. Uh, how's it go? <laughs> Great, it's great. Um, I'm probably playing at a weird tempo. I feel like when I'm like in performance mode, uh, my idea of tempo goes completely off. It's actually a very slow song, so I should be playing it much slower, I think. Like... Last bit this is the bit I haven't really practiced that much. So I know a bit more of the right hand um, from, from that point onwards. I know it kind of goes, I know the left hand a little bit as well. I'm not totally sure on it though, uh, and I'll revise it <laughs> afterwards, I guess. Um, but where am, I? I'm, where am I right now? Here, I think. Yes, yeah, so it goes. I don't know this bit, how's it go? Uh, goes like that. And there's that chord. Um, and then I, I know some of the rest of it goes. Than this cool chord progression. It doesn't do that. And then something. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm on the next page. Uh... 
probably that no there's that chord okay i expected to go straight for the c sharp uh which it does but it's like with a sustained fourth and then to the c sharp major lovely so that's where I am. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I've got to learn the right, the left hand for all of that right hand stuff that I've just been doing. We'll see how that goes. Um, should be, should be good. I hope the microphone's picking up my voice properly when I'm speaking that way. I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I guess we'll move on to the second piece that I'm learning. I'm still just doing two at once. I think that adds some nice variety. And I'm playing some extra stuff as well, but these are the two main two I'm learning. So I will now cut again. I don't know, what, I don't need to say this. I can just cut, nobody's gonna question it. Okay. So next up is a piece by Alberto Iglesias, if that's how you say it. Um, I actually don't know much of his music. So he's a film composer. It's too Two film scores we're doing. Um, I, I haven't seen any of the films, basically. But one of the pieces was in Mad Men, which is a fantastic TV show. I would highly recommend it to everybody. Um, so yeah, uh, let me try and find it. Where is it? Should have done this in advance. There we go. It turns out the book opens on the page because I've had it open like that. Um, so it's called, Mi I'm not going to be pronouncing this correctly, Mi Voy a Maria di Tanto Amor. Um, it was in Mad Men, like season three maybe, something like that, season two, season three. Uh, and that made me want to learn it, and I did learn it. However, I learned it from some sheet music that I found in the comments of a YouTube video of somebody playing it. Uh, and I learned it pretty well, although that only covered the first section of the piece. I uh, then tried to learn the second section by ear. I was like listening to the, the music itself. Um, problem being that the music is for strings and so it's arranged differently. Like you can't just, you can't just take string music and just play it on piano. That's not how it works. You have to transpose it in a certain way. Uh, the things that you play are different. The, the, the melody will be the same, the, the chords will be the same, but exactly the way you play it will be different. Um, and so I, uh, I tried to do that bit by ear, just from listening to that, also watching some other people on YouTube who have played that bit of the music. Um, and I tried to do it, and actually it turns out I did pretty well, now that I've got the actual sheet music in front of me. Um, but I couldn't get both hands properly. I just felt like I felt more comfortable just getting the sheet music and relearning it. The problem is I've had to absolutely completely relearn it because the sheet music that I got from YouTube was it's not wrong as such. It was just its own transcription um, that is different from the official one. I guess I'll start by playing the one I learnt. Um, let's just do it. Um, it's, it's much easier in my opinion, uh, but I'll give it a go. Um, and then the bit I was learning, uh, the way I learned it was like this, the bit I was doing by ear. I'm doing it completely wrong, hold on.
and that is where the spare goes. Then something, something, something. Um, anyway, um, that's different to how it's actually written in the official sheet music. So I've been trying to relearn it basically, which is very difficult because my hands already want to do one thing and I've got to do a completely different thing, even though it's the same music. But I'm trying. Uh, this one I haven't practiced nearly as much as the other one. Uh, so this will go terribly. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. That's how it starts. Um, and I don't think I can do all of that. I can't remember huge chunks of it. We'll just see how it goes. Um, the big difference is that, well, first of all, it's in a different octave. I was playing. Um, but that's not a big difference. That's a small difference. Um, because I've just got to move my hand down. The big difference is that the chords jump. It's like... Whereas before I was just doing... I could just keep my hand in one place. But now I'm doing... Now I'm doing... And I've got to jump down with my hand and hit the right note every time. Oh my gosh. Um, and not only that, but it's not just the same bass note. It's not... I wish it was that, it's actually... Actually, what is it? <laughs> oh no, it's... Actually, at the beginning it is the same bass note, but at later bits, it the bass note changes, even though the chord stays the same. I'll just play it and see how it goes. Oh God, it's going wrong already. like this. Um, I should probably just try and read it from the music. It would be just as fast. Uh, I've lost track of where I am though. What's that noise? Whatever. Um, oh god, yeah, it's going terribly. Chord I normally play, is it? So. Something, something, something. I need to learn this. I need to practice more. Um, so, next time, <laughs> hopefully I'll be better at it. It's a very nice piece though. All these like, uh, chromatic increments, uh, I guess I'm, I'm sort of saying words that might not mean anything to anybody, but ch chromatic is when you like go one semitone at a time, which means going from like the black note to the adjacent white note next to it, to the adjacent black note next to it, and so on. So, whereas normally you skip out, like you're playing C major, you don't play any of the black notes, you just play all of the white notes, you're skipping out the black notes. But if you play chromatically, you play all of those. Um, that wasn't chromatic, that bit. <laughs> that is. That's me just playing in C minor. Um, Yeah, okay. Um...
yeah, I'm going to keep practicing, uh, keep doing that. I guess a couple of the other songs I've been doing um, not very well. I've been learning a little bit of... Uh, how's it go? How's it go? Bit of sassy. Um, uh, what else? Some video game music. From Link's Awakening. <laughs> I, I've actually made up the left hand there. I don't know how it's actually supposed to go. And maybe I'm getting the right hand wrong. I've just played it from memory. Uh, I've got some, so I've got some like sheet music for my, basically my favorite band. Um, it's signed, which is nice. Uh, that's two bits of it. How am I doing for time? Oh, pretty bad. The camera's going to cut in a second. So anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> Damn fat 32 file systems can't store more than four gigabytes. So it has to cut the video every 12 minutes. Yeah, I've got the sheet music by Bright Eyes, uh, which is signed. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I've been playing some of this. I mean, this is just like chord progressions. Um, it's got the melody in there. It's like nice and simple compared to the other stuff. Uh, give it a whirl. Uh, I'll just play the chords, I guess. The chords just go. It's got a melody in here as well, though, like a vocal melody.
this is me playing from the sheet music. Um, obviously, I've played it a lot before, and it's a fairly simple song. It's got some interesting, like, accidentals in there, though, which I really like. Also, like, the fact that it's an F sharp major in there, ooh, it's, it's, it's not in the key, it's amazing. Like, if you were playing it in key, it would go. Instead, we've got that F sharp major. Uh, yeah, and it keeps going. It's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't really practiced the other ones, so I won't play that. Well, maybe we'll do it a little bit. Let's do it a little bit. What are the chords? They're kind of more complicated. Whew. They are more complicated. No. Seventh. F minus seven B flat seven flat ninth, what's that? E flat minor, A flat seventh flat ninth. What a cool chord progression that is. Hold on, let me do that again. Uh what was it? No, uh, this. I'm not playing it the way it's actually written, I'm just playing the chords. Uh, so there's that. Um, what else have I been doing? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all of it. A couple of other Bright Eye songs. Uh, although I've just been doing this from following the guitar chords. Uh, what's the song I'm thinking of? Yeah, so those songs were, the first one was Persona Non Grata, next one was Forced Convalescence, and then that one was Cape Canaveral, which is a beautiful song. Um, that chorus.
Oh, what other one? Same band. Um, Southern States, one of my favorite songs. Don't know how the rest of it goes. Anyway, just a bunch of random things I've been playing. Uh, but the first two are the main two that I'm practicing. So maybe I'll do an update video at some point. This is quite a hassle to set up though, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I guess if you like the video, tell me uh, and I'll try and do another one. Like it. Sometimes just Improvising sounds better. Uh, I think I'm running out of battery. Wow, that battery didn't last long on the camera. <laughs> Whatever, okay, we'll leave it there. Um, <laughs> that's a good place to leave it. Yeah, maybe we'll do another one. We'll see. Goodbye.